Hi there. Banana skins are not really as slippery as the old black and white movies suggest. People would frequently slip on horse manure, but as that is most unsightly, banana skins were brought in as a slippery understudy in the movies. This is the beginner level banana skin trap in the Queen's Gambit accepted. After d4, d5, c4 the Queen's Gambit, black accepts with d takes on the c4. White can play many moves here. One of them is e3, another one is e4. e3 and e4. One of the advantages of e3 over e4 is that after e3, white is attacking the pawn on c4. The bishop wants to recapture. And if black now tries the pawn move b5 to defend the pawn on c4, then white can play a4, hacking away at the base of black's flimsy pawn chain. Black obviously will not defend the pawn chain with a6. We've seen that in a different trap because of a takes b5, a takes b5, and rook takes on a8. But black might consider instead of a6, the move c6. And now this underscores the advantages of the move e3 as opposed to e4 because the diagonal f3 to a8 is open and white can utilize it and make black slip on a slippery banana skin after a takes b5, c takes on b5 and the move queen f3 finishes black off, black is losing material, the rook is being hit and the best black can do is at least just give up the knight with knight c6 and after queen takes on c6 check bishop d7 at least defends the rook but black is a whole piece down and is going to lose so this has been the banana skin trap in the queen's gambit accepted thanks for watching bye bye